Today I'm going to show you some apps that you can use to actually present your lessons. Um, as you can see here, if you were using your laptop, you would use this option here, which is just share screen, which I'm sure some of you have already probably started to do now. Um, what we can also do is from the iPad itself. So what I've done is I've logged in this red screen that you can see here is from the iPad and this screen is like supposed to be me but obviously I've just covered up the camera right now so from my iPad I'm gonna do share content you'll see here now so as you can see now I've joined with my iPad and this is what you will see from the iPad screen if you use zoom or if you use teams the same um, thing applies so all I'm doing now is I've logged into teams on my laptop and I've also logged into teams on my iPad and I'm going to now share my screen so I'm just going to start the broadcast and then my screen for my iPad should show up in here so you can see in there again it showed up and I'm just going to go to one of the apps and I'm just going to choose a app that I use for notes and I'm literally just going to go in there as you can see I've been using it quite extensively over the past few weeks of online learning but if you have a look over here now I'm just going to start a new note and I'm just going to say hi okay um, what you can do with this app this is Notability that I'm using right now so it's got a part where you can actually write text um, you can copy it paste it highlight you can get this to speak it for you okay there's also this uh, pen over here where you can change the color whatever you want to write you've also got the highlighter option you can erase things you can do this tool here which is like a chopping tool so I don't know about you but as a physics teacher I do like quite a few Diagram. sometimes it's helpful to move them out of the way when I've finished explaining or make something bigger or turn it around I really do like using that quite a lot um, and then here you've got an, uh, the ability to record audio so as you're teaching you can actually record yourself which means that students afterwards if you're not recording your zoom meeting for them if you're not recording um, you know uh, the MS Teams meeting you can actually use the audio feature on here and record and then later on when you click this button over here you can then share it with the students in any of these options here um, another good option with this one is you can either see all the pages that you're working on or one page at a time this option here changes the paper for you sorry about the battery's got low um, this one changes the paper for you so I've been studying waves this week sorry I'm still on this is an option um, so we've been doing waves so it's been a lot easier for me to draw the waves as you can see because I've actually got the squared paper option um, sorry that one um, you can uh, you can change your view to either seamless so it means that it just scrolls on like those big long boards that we had um, or page by page um, and then obviously you've got your information and your help on this section here you've actually got the option to add pictures from your photo library add a camera picture so you can actually take a photo of a worksheet maybe like I've just done sorry where's it gone so you can take a picture like this and you can then use this photo um, I've just taken it off the black screen obviously but you know you can use this photo in whatever you're doing so earlier today I was solving a problem one of the students couldn't see on his Nearpod so what I managed to do was just take a screenshot of the question and I shared it through um, through zoom uh, not through zoom sorry we use teams so I was sharing it through teams with him so if you have got a picture you can actually write down the answers over here for you for the students which again is just another really useful thing that we can do this one's uh, quite nice because you can actually scan a document into here and then these are I don't know really to be honest I don't really use them a lot but you know maybe if there was a time when I was really happy with them I might put this just to make them laugh or if you're recording your lessons then I guess it would be quite nice to put that in you can also take clips from the internet and put those in from there as well and you've also got these extra sticky notes 
that you can use um, just to kind of maybe highlight something. You know, maybe you want to just point out that something. Sorry about that. Um, maybe you just want to point something out. Maybe you just want to highlight something. Um, so, yeah, it's a really useful app. And you can use it on the iPad when you're um, teaching through Zoom or Teams, okay? Um, so basically, you can do lots of things on here. Now, they have got some tutorials, so if you want to do the tutorials, you can. Um, I'll just give you a quick overview. So this one is something that I just did earlier. I just got a random picture from one of the um, WhatsApp messages that was going around. Um, now what's excellent about explain everything is this part here where you can invite the students to do the work with you so if you have a worksheet all of you can work on it at once it says here that projects work, work best with eight people that you can still upload with um, more than eight people so it's not a problem but anyway there's a code here that you can give to the students and you can share that in Zoom or you can share it in Teams, whichever one you happen to be in. Um, or you can just use this section here and invite people by email. Okay, so once you do that, it means that the students are now able to write on this the same as you are, which is quite nice because then you can say to them, you know, can you solve question one, question two or whatever. Um, this this uh, WhatsApp message was to find the... the um, words inside the picture so what you need to do to write on this is basically make sure that it's unlocked and ready to write you can choose your pen from here so just chosen the felt tip or the marker there and then you just draw as usual on here what you need to do is maybe have the students all logged in together and they can discover where the words are you know, maybe that one of them could maybe find this and go, oh, I can see an L, you know, um, and then this is how you can use it. Okay, this one here is where you can just fill it all in together. So if you were like using a paint program, you wanted to fill some shapes in, you can do that. This one here actually draws you some shapes. So if you draw, for example, a square, if it will draw, is it not drawing because I've already got one there yeah okay so if you have a look here um, you can see that I'm just going to draw a square shape and it will draw the square for me it's got to recognize what shape you're trying to draw so again it's quite good for us um, maths and physics teachers okay you um, what else do I want to show you from here you can export your um, creations you can create a video link so you can get people you can share it with other people and you can obviously export it um, um, and there's more than a million things that I haven't shown you on here I just wanted to give you a basic idea um, if I go back to the main menu you can see that you know you can do um, these over here so you can get people to trace letters you can get you know start to make graphs and selling visuals and you can actually start with sketch notes and this is um, how to tutor languages with the same idea so explain everything for things that you want to explain also another really useful app is this one over here which is show me um, as you can see I've already started on here just to kind of start showing you um, I've got my keyboard open so that you can I can show you how to write text on there and the nice thing about this is that you can make your text that's it you can make your text bigger and smaller as you might need and you can change the colors of the text from these options at the bottom if you have something like um, formulas or anything you can see there's this new little um, keypad opened on the left here so you can actually add things like fractions, what x and y, any percentages, whatever, you know, the functions that we need to use for maths and physics. They're also on here. So again, it's quite useful for maths and physics, especially if you want, you know, to enter the functions. Um, the other apps, Notability and um, Explain Everything, you can also put functions in there as well, but obviously you'll be writing them so you wouldn't really need this but this is nice if you want to make it look a bit more professional 
then over here you can again choose photos take a photo search images choose a background okay so again I showed you before um, the graph this is actually a graph that's ready-made that you can then write on I've actually paused this from recording now but I'll just show you how to resume is it resuming did it start recording yeah so as you can see here right now it's recording so I can draw anything on here and I can be like yeah this is you know a parabola it doesn't really look like one but you know what I mean um, you know um, can you work out what the y-intercept is or whatever I want to say okay and you can see that it's recorded and if I want to add another screen onto here I'll just pause that skip to the next screen and then I'll start writing again and I'll start recording maybe I'll record with the writing without the writing it's up to me really how you want to do it up to up to you let's say you can also clear everything um, from the uh, show me which is really useful again because if you've got like um, if you've imported a worksheet and you want to just solve the worksheet with the students and then you know you finish solving you can then just clear all of your drawings and then have the worksheet still there um, this is quite a nice feature because you can have a color palette that suits you I don't know sometimes I like to change it just to suit my mood that's probably a girly thing I don't know um, and over here you change the size of your pen you can have a really thin pen or you can have a really thick pen um, and that's it it's quite basic in terms of features but then the main thing about uh, show me is that once you're done you can save and upload the video to show me itself this is the preview section so you can see what you've done and if you're happy with it you can save it and then you obviously um, give it a name you can see here that I've actually just posted this video now so it's been posted and then other people can now view it obviously these are ones that I'm just gonna delete in a second or two um, I'm just doing them to show you what uh, the options are you can see here that some of them I haven't actually posted these are drafts and it's literally because I was teaching using them and I didn't really think they were good enough to actually post so I didn't post them but you know um, it's up to you if you want to post them um, it's entirely up to you uh, if you just want to stick to keynote for example you probably have a keynote already made or a presentation that you already have on your um, iPad or your laptop so all you have to do is send the presentation from your laptop to your iPad okay on here you can actually edit and create your slides if you want to you can edit the master slide whatever you want to do and again you've got these options that you've got on all of the other note, note um, apps about adding photos videos getting your camera insert from somewhere else um, and this one is really nice because you can actually um, type equations into here or cut and paste them from an equation program and then you've also got these options over here anything that you basically need to put in in there you can you've also got these guides which are, are rather like when we're doing diagrams to put everything in the right place um, again with the document set up you're probably choosing which um, you know uh, design that you want this one um, to add a drawing so if you're explaining something or while you're explaining something you can actually go in here and you can write on there sorry that's a pencil it's too thin for you to see but here you can see that I'm writing with this marker here um, and it's actually again really useful for you while you're explaining to be able to write onto your PowerPoint or keynote to explain to the students thank you so much for watching if there's anything else you'd like me to do please do let me know and please 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 like subscribe and share 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 i really appreciate all the support that i've been getting from everyone from my subscribers from my family from my friends everyone has been really really supportive and i really appreciate it let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like me to do take yes. care until next time